White House is defending their stance against enhanced interrogation techniques on terrorist suspects, saying it's okay to kill a terrorist, but it's not okay to waterboard one. But will the administration's policies make it harder to catch terrorists in the future, let alone get intel from them? Former U.S. Attorney General Michael McKenzie joins us. Attorney General, uh, when you took over for, uh, for, uh, for the Bush administration, what did you have at your fingertips, or what did the administration have at their fingertips to investigate a high-value uh, detainee? What we had at our fingertips was a program of interrogation techniques that um, it could have included uh, waterboarding, could have included enhanced interrogation techniques, but in fact there was no need to do that after 2003. We stopped. There were additional statutes passed in 05 and 06 that Congress claimed were more restrictive, but we didn't feel any need to evaluate it at that point because the, the techniques that Congress was challenging most notably waterboarding had stopped but the fact is that the option remained open and all of the techniques were classified so now uh, they have decided did, did president obama to fulfill a campaign promise and stop all that and say go by the army manual he did that right after he took office how limited are we now then judging by the difference in policies and practices we are limited to a point that i think is ridiculous the army field manual is a manual that can be used by the most raw recruit, a 19-year-old kid. Um, if the proper limitations are four feet out, the Army manual is two feet out. And it's available on the web. It's used as a training manual by Al-Qaeda. We've given away everything that we did. And they know exactly what they tell their, their operatives to do if caught. Correct. You've played We're, your hand. You've played your hand. Not only that, but we disclosed the memos that described in detail what the enhanced interrogation techniques were like. So they know about that too. There's a push, and I saw the Daily News had an editorial, I imagine there's others across the country that said, okay, one thing we can do for sure, can we stop investigating the CIA interrogators that were doing what they legally had the right to do back in early 2003 and 2004? What do you say, Michael McKenzie? Absolutely. Um, those investigations were conducted by, there were investigations conducted by career prosecutors who drew the conclusion in five or six cases that nothing further was warranted. They did detailed memos. The new administration decided without reading those memos, without reading them, to reopen those investigations. That's an outrage. From what you know and what I won't be able to know because I didn't have your type of clearance, how valuable were the enhanced interrogation practices uh, to the success of the war on terror and getting bin Laden? At the time they were used, they were enormously valuable. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, who had a trove of information, cracked like a dam. And when that dam broke, he disclosed enormous amounts of information that stopped ongoing projects that they had and that disclosed a lot of valuable information, including some information that was part of the trail that led eventually to bin Laden. And we have not done that since. We've not got a high value guy since or have access to a guy like that. And if we have any luck at all, uh, we will get a whole bunch real soon, so we've got to make a quick decision. Attorney General McKay's, we've got to have you back. We've got to put in place a program that's classified that they don't know about. So and we don't, don't know, know about. Expect. Correct. This is not the subject for public discussion. Right. Maybe in the green room. Thank you very much. Thanks. Michael McKay's, thanks so much. Meanwhile, coming up.